Boogity, boogity, get up on your feet. Well, you remember last week uh, we were studying video. I was watching the races uh, that we had done in the past, trying to get a feel for, you know, anything in there that I might want to pull out and, and uh, improve upon or just get rid of in some cases. But this week, it's notes. Uh, these are notes for the upcoming Daytona 500 uh, that I'll be studying. Uh, the good thing about notes and the good thing about video is I was there. <laughs> Most of these notes, uh, there's some reference uh, in there that always reminds me of a race or a particular race. Uh, for instance, uh, last year Mark Martin sat on the pole, I'm sure you remember that, and he, he, he qualified 191 miles an hour. But my teammate back in uh, 1988, uh, Kenny Schrader, he sat on the pole at 198 miles an hour. So uh, that's a lot faster. 47.0. 74 for Mark, 45226 for Kenny Schrader at 198. But here's the one, and I was there, and I qualified fourth at 210 miles an hour. But Bill Elliott in, two in the 1987, 42, 42 seconds, 42.783 seconds around the Daytona International Speedway at 210 miles an hour. Now, folks, when I say boogity, 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 <laughs> old Bill was boogity, boogity, boogity that day, I promise you. So, lots of notes and a lot of things to get ready for. Uh, just trying to keep up with everything that's going on. And one of the things that's going on is, uh, is I'm sure you most, are, most of you are aware that, uh, that there, NASCAR came out. Well, they actually, I should, let me rephrase that. NASCAR has not come out with the announcement yet. But uh, the, the rumor is, and it's pretty, pretty, much, pretty confirmed, that uh, a driver will have to pick a series in which he's going to compete for the championship. Uh, you can pick trucks, nationwide, or cup. Now, obviously, if you're a truck racer, you're going to pick the truck series. If you're a nationwide, you're going to pick the nationwide. And if you're a cup driver, you're going to pick the cup series. In the past, you didn't have to pick. You could run for points in all three. And it's because of what uh, Brad Keselowski and, and Kyle Busch and... Uh, Paul Menard and, and, and uh, Carl Edwards have done trying to win the Cup Championship and the Nationwide Championship. Oh, just an outcry. Oh, God, it's the worst thing that ever happened. People are, people are, and the Cup drivers are winning the Nationwide races and Cup drivers are winning the Nationwide Championship. Personally, I think it's much ado about nothing, but nonetheless, because of the outcry from fans, and others, people in the, in the Nationwide Series that are regulars, uh, NASCAR decided that they would try to figure out a way to keep a cup driver from winning, I want to get this now, listen to me, the driver's championship. So there's still the owner's championship, and that's the question I have, and it's the question as far as I know hasn't been answered yet. Can a cup driver run all the Nationwide races and win the, cup, the owner's championship and a nationwide driver run all the races, and he would win the driver's championship. That may be kind of a compromise that NASCAR is looking at. We won't know until Friday of uh, this week when we're in Daytona testing. Mike Helton and uh, Robin Pemberton are supposed to have a press conference to sort of lay out uh, the entire rule package. Right now, we only know you can pick what you got to pick uh, one series that you're going to compete for the championship in. We don't know the details, but here's the thing that bothers me the most. The Nationwide Series is dependent upon cup drivers and cup teams. You, the Nationwide Series this year has a new race car. It's the second generation of the COT. And all the cars that the Nationwide drivers have had, the teams have had in the past, they're obsolete. Just like when the cup teams went to the COT, it obsoleted all their the fleet of cars. They had to build all new ones. Nationwide is in the same spot. All their cars, old cars, are obsolete. you got to build all new ones. And that's an expensive proposition for a series that really doesn't have that much money in it. It's hard to find sponsorships. Not a, not, not a lot of na uh, nationwide regulars have full-time sponsorships. So there's a lack of money there. There's a lack of resources. And they have really been dependent upon cup teams uh, for that sort of trickle-down effect to keep that series healthy and keep it going. So... If they eliminated, just say they said no cup drivers, no cup owners, 
none, nobody from the Cup Series could compete in the Nationwide Series, it would, it would kill the series because that's where all the resources come from. The Nationwide, uh, the, the Cup drivers that run in Nationwide, those Cup owners build those new cars. Uh, those cup owners, and there's about 15 of them when we go to most of these races, those guys are the ones that bring all the resources to the series. If you want to buy something, the engines, cars, you normally have to get them from the cup teams. So if you eliminated the cup teams, that in effect would really hurt that nationwide series. That's my opinion, and I think it would be true if in fact that's what it turns out to be, and I don't know that for sure. But here's the other thing. what does a, Why do nationwide series... Uh, teams care about a points championship. They need money. They should be complaining about the nation, the cup drivers coming and winning all the big races and taking all the big money. What they need to do is big bonuses, and maybe they will. I don't know. Big bonuses. If you're a nationwide regular driver, you're running for the nationwide championship, and you beat the cup drivers, or you're the highest finishing nationwide driver, you should get a huge bonus. That's what they need. They don't need points. A point championship in nationwide is not very big. Doesn't pay a whole heck of a lot of money. But what those teams need is money. And so instead of worrying about who's going to get points, they should be worrying about who's going to make some big bucks, who's going to get some, get some money so they can build those cars and so they can compete with the cup drivers. So I, there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of unanswered questions. We'll know Friday. I'll update you on uh, probably next Monday or Tuesday. But uh, that's my opinion about the Nationwide Series. I really believe it's much ado about nothing. I think they should have just left it alone. It didn't affect that many people. And, uh, but I believe that there's going to be some unintended consequences. Remember those words, unintended consequences that are going to come from the limiting uh, of the cup drivers in the Nationwide Series. Limiting competition, regulating competition, trying to uh, control competition is never a good idea, and it hurts racing. Matter of fact, I don't see how you can put. Uh, it's almost like restrictor plates. Who wants a restrictor? Who wants a restrictor plate race? I mean, a race is supposed to be flat out, right? And that's kind of how I feel about the Nationwide Series. Nobody wants to see uh, that series controlled. Uh, are manipulated, uh, I think they should have left it alone. That's my opinion. And I got to get back to work. I got notes. Oh my gosh, I got notes. 10, 15, 20. I'll see you next week.